and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and if you're new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity and just making you feel good in your own skin. I do unfiltered makeup reviews where I show you guys how the makeup applies on my textured skin. I show you it in different lighting, no filters and, and I do full day wear tests to see how it actually performs. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join the channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we are doing a face full of Givenchy makeup, including their powders, foundation, concealer, their powder blushes, and even some fun lip products. So if you want to see all of that, I'm going to be covering it all from the application. I'll show you guys how this looks like in different lighting. And we're doing a full day wear test to see if Givenchy really passes the test on acne prone and textured skin. Before we get into that, I do want to let you know about my podcast, Loud Talk with Lavi. If you're looking for self-confidence tips or just a space that feels safe to break down the walls of Beauty standards one fall at a time. Check it out at Loud Talk with Lavi on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and all streaming platforms. Every single Sunday, we have new episodes come out. And you can also check out my skincare line at 9to5skin.com. This is my personal self funded skincare brand. If you don't know, I have a background in chemical engineering and I created this with my co founder to create the most efficient skincare system out there. You can use the code Loud Talk for 50% off your purchase. I think that's all I have to tell you. So let's get right on into this video. Tell me, baby, what's the problem? All right, so I have the full box of products here to jump into. We have a lot to test out today, including powders, blush, concealer, corrector, mascara, lip products, and their foundation. There's so much to get through. So um, I don't have a primer today. I just have some sunscreen on. I use the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Plus SPF. 50. So I think I'm going to stick with that. Let me zoom you in. So I think we're just going to go in right away. We're going to start off with the green concealer. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Corrector in the green color. This looks like a pretty light green. Oh yeah, and look at that formula. It just shears out right away. So I'm going to only apply this on my like really red spots. Just like that. And I'm just gonna grab a little flat brush and slightly pat it out. I like that this is more sheer because then it's not going to look like super, super green underneath the foundation, hopefully. So I'm gonna sheer it out. It looks like a very hydrating, definitely not a full coverage formula, but it is definitely taking down the redness. I think if you're a lot paler than me, this color might not work on you just because of how light the green is. Like the foundation will definitely cover this up for me, but if you are a lot deeper, it probably wouldn't. So just keep that in mind. Let's now go in with the foundation. I have it in the shade 2N150. This packaging is stunning on this product. I don't know if I should use a sponge or a brush today. Very liquidy formula. Let me start with a brush. Okay, this shade match is gonna be perfect. Very skin-like liquidy formula from what I can tell. This is typically the type of texture I like in a foundation. That is smoothing out so nicely. Okay, Givenchy, I see you. Honestly, honestly, I kind of like the texture with the brush, if I'm gonna be honest. The coverage seems like a nice medium, but really easy to work with. Like it's just blending out really nicely. It's not streaking. And it has that really nice skin like finish to it, where it's just sitting on the skin really luminously. And so far, not really emphasizing the texture, which is a good sign. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the foundation on a sponge and try to build up the formula. Oh, I'm actually really impressed by how this is sitting on the skin. And I never really hear anyone talking about this foundation, mostly just the powder. Okay, you can definitely apply multiple layers of this. I don't think it's looking bad on the skin. I don't think you can build up the coverage too much from like a medium wear, but honestly, I kind of prefer a foundation that just looks really beautiful on the skin. And sometimes I kind of just prefer that medium coverage I just feel like if the foundation sits beautifully on the skin, then I don't really need as much full coverage. Like I don't I honestly feel like this looks better. Now we're gonna jump into the concealer. This is in the shade W110. Go under the eyes and do a little bit of highlighting with this. This has a similar lightweight texture and slightly spot concealed with this as well to see if we can build up that coverage. 
my sponge. That looks really pretty. Okay, it built up the coverage a little bit on the face there. This is sitting really nice so far. Really, really impressed with the skin so far. It's looking very, very glowy and nice and just sitting really nicely on the skin. All right, so now we have the powders to try out next. So let's finish up this base. I'm going to use the New 6 Contour Stick in the shade Bondi Bay. I'm not even liking this shade. I don't know what just happened, but the rest of the stick got stuck inside the cap so i'm using my sponge and kind of like grabbing it from here because this is such a pretty contour shade i actually don't know what happened i'm gonna have to deal with that and then i'm gonna take nude six sun kissed on the cheeks and hopefully this one stays in its original packaging and do like a light cream blush i've really been liking these formulas lately so now it's time to set the face use their powder so i have the shade two um, I've heard such great things about these powders. This one here has like a purple, a yellow, and a salmon, and a peach, kind of more neutralizing type colors. And then this one is a lot more on the pinky side. In the shade three, we have pink, salmon, yellow, and a light pink there. So let's just try it both out. This is such fancy packaging. Let's shake some of shade two into the cap. And this is kind of like supposed to be that mix of all of the different tones to kind of neutralize the skin out. Tap some off on the back of my hand. We mix it together and let's go in right here. This smells very high-end, like a department store. Why did that literally just make everything disappear on that side? Do you see that? Okay. I love when a powder does that. So what this so what this is really doing is it's taking on that shine and kind of doing a bit of blurring, but when the shine is gone and I'm in front of a bright light like this, my texture isn't going to show as much. In real life, the texture's still going to be there. The powder is just making it less appearing. It's not that it's making it disappear. I want to, you know, always set realistic standards with my reviews. So I show you guys all the different lighting at the end and everything like that. This is sitting really nicely. It's very fragrant. Like, it smells like a bouquet of flowers, but I usually don't like a lot of fragrance in my beauty products, but this one isn't bothering me as much as I thought but the skin is really set down there and it's not emphasizing the texture in a weird way. Let's try out shade three. This is a lot more pink. I'll take the clean puff. This is a lot more pink. Which I do typically like a pink powder under the eyes. Do we see the difference there? Looks really pretty. Just kind of brightens up the face, I think, in a nice, like, rosy way. I honestly feel like the skin looks really good right now with the setting. All right, now we have the powder blushes to try out. I also have two shades here. This is very interesting. I've never tried a powder blush like this. That's like a loose powder, almost like they're setting powders. So this first one is in the shade two. It has a lot of rose tones in here. Look at this cutesy little powder puff. I'm gonna grab some powder puff. Tap it off on the back of my hand, just like I would a regular powder. This is looking really bright, but like a light bright. We're just gonna go bright on the cheek. Oh my gosh. This might be the best way to apply blush on textured skin because look at how smooth that just applied. Have we seen that? That looks absolutely stunning on the cheek. Wow. Okay. Let's try the shade three. This is going to be, this is more on the warm side of things, a bit more coral. Oh, this is also really pretty. Honestly, like for a powder, they do have quite a bit of pigment to them and they're giving me like that airbrushed look to the skin. They're blending out quite easily. Okay, the peach one clung a little more to like specific dry spot but the pink is just you know really airbrushed and blended really cute i honestly think i'm just gonna leave my cheeks like one pink one rose so we can see the staying power of each but oh, that's so pretty all right i'm gonna finish up with my eyes here i'm using the patrick ta palette to just set down a nice cool tone brown base popping this in the crease and then i'm gonna take the brown with a little bit of black this in the outer corner and very very slightly wing this out i've been using a little like pencil brush recently to do this because it just gives that really soft look without me having to spend a lot of time with it and it kind of blends itself out something really simple and then i'm going to take this gxve in the shade painted up this is from gwen stefani's makeup line okay, i think i'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and take a little fluffy flat eyeshadow brush kind of do like a what i like to call a soft cut crease with this wait that is stunning it's a very interesting formula because it's not super liquidy it's easy to work with where it's like kind of like a cream easy to blend but then you're still able to get a good amount of pigment laid down 
and precision. I would love to see what this looks like over a white or a black eyeshadow. I'll use my finger to blend out the center here. Okay, wait, that's so pretty. And then I'm going to take Star Cowgirl from Urban Decay and plop this on the inner corner. I love this so much. All right, so time to finish off this look with some lashes. And I do have the mascara to try out. Time for the mascara. This is the... Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Wow, I'm going to butcher this, but this is the Le Interdeep Mascara Couture Volume Mascara with 24-hour volume and XX. L length and care, whatever that means, but this feels luxury. Like, gosh, look at the bristle. I don't think I've ever tried something this shape before. Let's go on. Oh, I love a mascara that like rips your lashes really well with the applicator. Mm, it's giving me more lengthening vibes than the volume. The formula is really nice. I like a mascara that's like more tacky feeling. It's giving really nice separation to the lashes. It's giving the lashes really nice separation and lift. It is definitely just more of a lengthy mascara. I'm not mad at it, I think it's suiting this look well. I just typically go for something with a volume slash length kind of combo. This is really pretty. Very easy to apply to the lower lashes just because it does have those tiny little bristles there. And then you can really get there in here and wing it out. I'm not mad at this mascara, I'm really not. All right, let's get into the lip products. We have two, it looks like balms to try out. Guys, the lip products too are so Fancy, how do I open this? Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, this is like a black, okay, yeah, like a black to like foam, but that's just like spicy looking. And then we also have this Rose Perfector liquid balm. Oh, look at this. I'm so tempted to mix it, but I'm not. I'm just gonna leave it as a swirl. Let's do a little swatch. Guys, this is straight up a black lip gloss. Okay, I need some liner. I think I'm gonna do MAC Chestnut and MAC Coral to blend. Let's start with the balm. Guys, that is so vampy. I was expecting it to be more on the pink side, but it's very vampy. I should have checked before I finished this eye look, but it's okay, we're still trying out the products. And the gloss, also very vampy, but I like it. Like, I love this mirror and it's making my teeth look really white. I think with a different eye look, this would look really, really cool. All right, so here is the finished makeup look. Obviously the lips do not match the eyes, but hey, we played around with makeup today and it was super fun. So let me show you guys what this looks like in some different lighting. So here is away from the ring light. We just see that texture pop up a bit more. I do feel like overall the skin is looking really, really smooth, which is amazing even, you know, besides like, even though I do have some texture right now. Here's what it looks like in bathroom lighting. This gives like, I think a really realistic look of how the makeup actually turned out and then some natural lighting as well, which kind of gives a similar effect, but a softer look compared to the ring light. But I'm gonna wear this makeup all day long and I will be back to show you how it lasted. All right guys, it is the end of the night. I've had this makeup on for about eight hours. So let's see how it's holding up. Let me just retouch the lip quickly. I do you like this lip balm? It gives a nice stain, like I even washed it off my hand and it does stay um, quite a while, which is nice. So taking a nice and up close look at the makeup, it's definitely worn down a bit. There is some breaking, but it's kind of congregated in my smile lines there. A little bit of shine. The under eyes, I will say I'm very, very impressed with how the powder kept the concealer and the under eyes there's no creasing going on look at that literally no creasing i don't think my under eyes have ever looked this smooth so the combo between the concealer and the powder i would definitely use that again um the blush really really great staying powder on these i think these blushes are awesome maybe i went in with a little too much but hey too much blush ever hurts <laughs> right um and the foundation i think lasts really well really fresh look to it um of course some um, wear and stuff but it just looks really fresh on the skin and doesn't look cakey so i think this was a really successful makeup test the mascara grew on me as well um i think these products are awesome i didn't notice at first that the blushes actually have a mirror on top how cute is that really really beautiful looks packaging great formulas i see why people like this and I think it is definitely textured skin girl 
approved. Let me know what you guys thought about this makeup look. I would love to hear your thoughts and about Givenchy as well. And let me know what other makeup tutorials and trials you want to see next on my channel. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. We post new videos every single Friday at 8 a.m. MST. You can also check out my podcast where we do full episodes on how to be more confident, interview a bunch of amazing guests. New episodes go live every single Sunday at 7 a.m. MST on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. And you can check out my short form content on Instagram and TikTok where I post daily at Living Your Rosanda. I love you all so, so much. Remember to have your love very soon today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Tell me, baby, what's the problem? Cause I keep trying to figure it out.